Alright, so in the last video I showed you how to link um, a section of text to a custom property in your model file. If we look at the sheet format again, we can see that all these blue things are already linked. So we have the sheet size, the scale is automatically linked, the weight should be automatically linked, and if you hover over it you can see that it's using a custom property called weight. Then the number of sheets is also listed here, which is automatic. And you can add new sheets with this button down here. So, in order to use some of that, we would create the properties. But instead of having to type in each one, what we can do is use this tab the custom properties. So this is all of the ones that I have set up that I need to fill out every time. To set this up you can go to um, click for template options, this button down here, and then you can either click which template you want to use or you can open this property tab builder. So here I can go ahead and open up my things to show you. So this is a custom um, list that you can make with these things. And to get something over here, you just drag and drop it. So let's get rid of the material. Get rid of that. And what we can do is we can grab a text box, drop it. Under the name, we can scroll down to material. Um, we want it to be a text. And the value can be um, the derived SolidWorks dash material and for the caption we can say material and that's how I went through and created all of these company name John by you can see a lot of them already have um, property attributes that are pre set up in this list here so I went through and made all of those that way yes without saving. That way you don't have to worry about spelling your property name wrong or forgetting to put one of them in. So you can just hit this button and you can type in. I have it so that this autofills drawn by let's say RJS drawn date 3-14-2023 checked by RJS So put these the same. Um, let's do the checked by as RS and the QA RK. A revision, since it's the first revision, we can do a def. The weight is calculated, material. We get, can actually put in over here. We can do edit material, aluminum. 6061 T6. Bye. Yes. Close. Now you can see that this automatically pops up. File name is also automatically popped up in there. We can hit apply. Now, what this does is if we go back to our properties, we can see all of those are automatically. Put in there and you don't have to worry about misspelling these anymore or forgetting one just automatically pumps it in there and to access that we can go back to the drawing and we can see that the weight is automatically populated same with the title company name which goes there the john by date and name and the business or the company name is also put right there and right there in the proprietary and confidential block the materials auto populated and then you can also add in to that tab builder the tolerances that you want pretty much everything in this you can have be um, derived from that custom properties tab everything in your title block and that will save up a lot of time and you can access those. So let's say, let's just do a note. We can pretend that this is in the title block. If we were making this or something like that from scratch, we could type in 
uh, weight, all caps, dash, then we can do a link to property right here. We can say model found. Property name can be the weight. Click OK. And that's how you can make this from scratch right there with the custom property tabs and tab builder. And it speeds, it, speeds up the process a lot by just having that ready to go form.